from some of the scariest Minecraft mobs to some of the most dangerous Minecraft mobs, in this video we're going to be exploring Minecraft's best ocean mobs. Now this aquatic mod that I'm about to show you is called Pantherlassa. It's actually a really cool Minecraft mod. It honestly adds a ton of different sea creatures into the Minecraft world and honestly trust me guys it's one of my favorites. So if you want dangerous animals trust me when I say this one's for you. So let's take a look at these animals. One of the first creatures you're going to want to see in this mod is actually the Mosasaurus. It's actually a really cool mod that is very very aggressive. This kind of mob actually hunts fish as you can see by the floating fish at the top of the screen and by the many corpses that they've just literally left behind. It's definitely a really really cool mob because it is so absolutely aggressive it can jump out of the water and bound and kill you in an instant. It definitely makes Minecraft's oceans much more scary and trust me when I say these mobs are super quick as well and definitely this mod is really cool because these mobs actually do have some of the coolest and smoothest looking animations that you're ever going to see. I know that in some of the older versions the animations aren't as smooth but as Minecraft has evolved so has these animations and they're honestly really really cool. It also features the Chronosaurus which is a very scary mob itself, which is, as I just said, another very aggressive mob. This mod honestly features so many aggressive, scary mobs that actually do look like they're part of the game. But nonetheless, they're very, very interesting and very, very cool, especially with the animations and the way they move. You can see that these creatures actually have four flaps or four fins that they use, and they actually do actually fight with the Mosasauruses, so be careful if you see them in the same water, because they will engage in deadly combat, which actually does leave one or the other dead. And it definitely is very interesting to see two different mobs fighting it out in the deep dark ocean. Something that this mod also includes is the Megalodon shark. You all know that the Megalodon shark is one of the most ferocious sharks. And you can see that is no and you can see that in Minecraft this is the exact same thing. This shark is literally absolutely attacking everything and is the apex predator when it comes to Minecraft, especially since they hunt in packs and have very sharp teeth and very high health, which makes them a very dangerous killing machine. You can all see that some of them even have their eyes red, which I'm pretty sure means that they're in an angry state, meaning that they're about to kill something in their immediate vicinity. So if you see them with red eyes, be sure to watch out because those ones are not to be messed with. This mod actually features a Dunklosaurus, which is once again a large and aggressive mob, which like the Megalodon shark actually does attack many different things. So this is one that you do have to be careful of because it is honestly no complete joke and it will simply attack you even if you are in the water and even if you are with armor. And as you can see, this mob completely goes after any idle fish and makes easy work of them. Now this mod right here is called the Basilosaurus and this is essentially a seal-like creature which is truly dangerous. With some of the smoothest animations and some really cool exploration techniques, this mod is actually truly truly amazing. And the Basilosaurus is another apex predator that does make the depths of the ocean truly truly scary. You can find them in many different parts of the Minecraft oceans. Just make sure to be quick though because they will kill you if they are nearby and you need to be very very careful. Now this creature here is called the Thalazomedon and it's actually one of my favorite creatures because it features a really unique design. Now a lot of these animals are based on prehistoric creatures which is why they look like this but the animations are really fluid and really cool and it's super long neck. It's just a really interesting quirk to me and I really love how it just explores and goes down and just kind of finds creatures with its long super thin neck. Definitely a really unique creature in the aquatic world. Now this creature right here is a helicorprion. It's kind of like a shark but it has a really strange feature which is its razor sharp mouth which actually has some spikes on the end of it. The pictures of the thing are absolutely insane but trust me this was a real creature that used to live in our waters millions of years ago. So trust me when I say this one is actually a real blast from the past and it's actually really really cool to see this creature in all its glory. In some of the deepest darkest areas though there is these things called anglerfish. Now these ones you probably have heard of before and this mod actually does a great job of actually representing these fish because they're really cool because essentially what they do is these creatures lurk in the deepest parts of the Minecraft world luring creatures with their light on their head and if any creature was to come close to the anglerfish then essentially they would immediately immediately die. So it's definitely a cool add-on because this is for the deep dark areas of Minecraft's ocean, especially if you are someone that loves exploring, you're definitely going to enjoy this part of the mod. These creatures are definitely quite aggressive though, so I would also remain clear from them because of course there are many different creatures in this Minecraft world. And honestly, I only showcased a couple of the creatures that this mod actually holds. There are tons and tons of cool aquatic creatures that you definitely do want to see. So be sure to give this mod a real look because some of the animations are honestly breathtaking and it's clear that there has been a lot of work put into this awesome some more. Now this bedrock mod is honestly one of the greatest bedrock mods that I've ever seen because trust me the amount of different creatures and fish that it adds is honestly truly insane. So this mod is called the Aquatic Fauna mod and it adds a bunch of new different fish into the game such as Lariosauruses and many different dinosaur creatures that used to exist in our world. A lot of these creatures are honestly truly breathtaking so let's take a look. This mod also includes something you've probably already heard of before and that is the very famous swordfish as you can see. Definitely a really cool Minecraft mob especially with the animations that they have and especially with how detailed they manage 
manage to make this kind of mob. It truly is a breathtaking experience. They also do have some special eels in this mod, which is really cool as well. And they actually do have some really cool sea snakes, as you can see right here. These are just my honestly favorite, as they just slither through the water. I'm honestly not sure how they got the animations for the sake so smooth, but it definitely does look really, really cool to see it going through the water. There's also a really cool creature called the Sea Serpent, which is actually a fish which actually has a crown on it. Definitely one of the more rare mobs and one of the more interesting ones, but also adds that nice element of hoping to find something special within Minecraft's ocean. I would say overall, the Aquatic Fauna update is definitely one of the coolest bedrock mods that you can find, and it's definitely really worth the download. There are also these really cool things in the mod that are called droughts that actually look so cool. I would definitely say give this mod a look out because it truly is one of those mods that does stand out based on the animations alone. And I would honestly love to go through every single creature that this mod does have, but trust me when I say there are honestly simply way too many mobs in this mod for me to showcase every single one. It would simply be absolutely impossible for me to show you every single creature that they have. So I would say for the aquatic fauna, just make sure that this is one that you do check out because it honestly is worth it. You honestly never know what you're going to find. Trust me when I say it's worth a look. There are even little baby black-tailed sharks that are a really cool addition to the game. And some of these mobs even actively engage in battle. So that's a little Easter egg that you might want to take note of. One of the first creatures it actually adds are piranhas. And trust me, these are, yes, again, the deadly type. Because piranhas are very, very scary. And these little creatures actually do like to hang in packs. So you're never going to see just one of them. You're likely going to see a whole bunch of them swarming together, trying to attack something delicious. So if you do like aquatic mods, then maybe this mod is definitely for you. But just remember that some of these creatures are truly dangerous. This mod also includes some things that aren't really spectacular, but they definitely add to the depth of the detail. You can see that on the ocean floor, what you're likely to find are these sea urchin. And although they don't do that much, they definitely add a level of detail to the Minecraft world that I'm pretty sure you players will appreciate. They do move exactly like sea urchins and look exactly like them. The game also does add starfish which actually roam around the bottom of the ocean, which means that if you're like someone like me who likes exploring around the bottom of the ocean, then you're likely to find that you're most certainly never going to be bored with this mod at all. This mod also does add some of the more dangerous creatures in the mod as you can all see, like this ancient Lazarus, like this creature called the ancient Lariosaurus, which is a really cool name for this truly dangerous creature that pretty much hunt in packs and hunt anything they see. It's definitely a really cool mod and I would say that these creatures are definitely some of the dangerous ones so if you see them make sure you do your very best to try and avoid them because these creatures will not be trying to avoid you now there are also some cooler mobs in this mod such as the dragonfish which honestly is absolutely outstanding from the animation to the textures this mod is simply just breathtaking and the dragonfish truly does feel like that a dragon underwater so i would say if you want a truly breathtaking mob that you want to see the dragonfish is definitely one of them Minecraft 1.12 isn't exactly the best edition for showing water mobs, but this version is absolutely insane. You see, this mod actually adds a crazy animal creature that everyone absolutely knows and loves. This secret mod called Animalium actually adds piranhas to the game, and honestly, these things are absolutely terrifying. You never want to go anywhere near these mobs because they will simply attack you at the simple chance that they get. Trust me, even if you're on land, these creatures will simply attack you, which means that no matter where you are, you're simply never safe. Now, these mobs actually do move. I think I just spawned in a bit too many. I don't want to give the mod a bad review, but I'm going to show you exactly what happens when you encounter the deadly piranha. So be sure to always eat a golden apple for good luck, because honestly, I'm going to need it. So you can see that these deadly piranhas are simply there in the water, but as soon as they realize that I'm nearby, they're going to start simply attacking me and even jumping on the water. Now, what's even crazier is that these fish will even survive for a few seconds whilst being on land as they hilariously try to attack me. And you can see that they are rushing to get me. It's definitely something that is truly scary, but for some reason, these creatures don't even attack some of the rats and some of the other land dwelling creatures. It's as if they have a very specific taste for players. I'm not sure why they coded it like that. Maybe they just wanted to make it a bit fun. But honestly, if you ever get into an area where there are lots of these, you're honestly never getting out alive. You can see that the deadly piranha swarm is going to attack you no matter what you try to do. Despite the amount of golden apples that you do have, you always need to be careful because these creatures are always going to be nearby. And honestly, sometimes they will just die trying to attack you. If they don't get back in the water within a couple of seconds, they will just simply perish, as you can all see. So deadly piranhas are just like that, deadly piranhas. So always be careful of these mobs because they can simply attack you even if you're on land. And that's not something that every other water mob can simply say to yourself. So definitely watch out for the strange piranhas because they can attack you at any given time and definitely use this mod because it can be used to prank your friends and definitely spice up the world because going into the water is never usually dangerous but with this crazy mod installed it definitely makes our game a whole lot more dangerous and a lot more exciting because you're gonna have to be dodging every single piranha 
So this next mod that I'm about to review is one that is called the World Wild Animals add-on. You can see that this add-on actually you can see that this add-on actually adds a bunch of new creatures to Minecraft. You can see that these are actually hippos. What's actually good about this mob is that it actually does accurately depict hippo. It actually does show them actually doing all the hippo things, like them walking around at the bottom of the pit, to some of them even coming up for water. Because although hippos can breathe underwater, sometimes they do actually need to come up. What's also cool is that they do have this feature where hippos can actually lay down like this, and it's definitely a really cool upgrade. I'm not really sure how long it took them to add this feature but it definitely is a really cool addition because it just goes to show how neat certain Minecraft features are because it actually adds a level of immersibility into the game where these creatures are simply just relaxing. This add-on actually also adds seals into the game which are very very cute and very very awesome. Just be careful not to spawn the hippos too close to the seals or else you get a very unfortunate circumstance where the hippos are aggressive to the seals. The seals are these really really cute things that just really run from danger whilst hippos are very very aggressive so I would say be very careful of those. Now, one of the reasons I actually chose this mod was because it actually has a humpback whale. You don't really get to see too many Minecraft mods that actually have a very nice animation when you do have the wheels, because honestly, Minecraft is very, very hard. Especially when it comes to mods and animations like this, doing these kinds of fluid animations does take a very long time. So when you find an aquatic mod that actually adds these features and implements them pretty well, it's definitely something that you do want to check out. And I gotta be honest, this humpback whale is absolutely huge. You can all see just how big this creature is as it goes up to breach for some air. It's definitely one of my favorite creatures in the wild animals add-on because honestly it's just seriously that huge. It doesn't really interact with many other mobs but it definitely does look elegant and it doesn't really interact with many other mobs but it does honestly look so amazing and it's one of Minecraft's biggest mobs in this up and you can see just how big this whale is by just how much space it actually takes up as it floats around underneath this ice bio. Definitely something to add to your world if you're looking for a bit more fun and a bit more immersibility, because honestly, these whales honestly do take up a large amount of space, which makes you feel less lonely in the world. Something else that this add-on actually does add is the addition of hammerhead sharks. Now, hammerhead sharks are actually really, really cool because they're a type of shark that actually has a very interesting head. Now, of course, these sharks are actually quite aggressive. So of course, if you're in survival, stay clear of these sharks, please. But other than that, if you are in creative, it's actually very easy and cool to watch these sharks flow about because honestly their animations are so cool. They definitely look like they're a real part of the Minecraft world and that they fit right in. From the textures to the way they actually float around, they simply just look like they're absolutely part of the game and honestly they're actually really really cool. So definitely give the Hammerhead Shark a check out if you download the Wild World add-on update. Now of course when you do have multiple Minecraft mobs in a world you're going to have some trouble. So if you are going to spawn in some Hammerhead Sharks be sure to avoid spawning them next to Hippo or else you're going to get a scenario where there is just honestly constant bloodshed which is not something you want in your Minecraft world but if you are exploring and creative and you want to see them go to war then by all means spawn them next to each other and just simply watch them absolutely go at it and attack each other sometimes even the whale gets involved too it's definitely a very very interesting thing to see because some hippos are really cool and others are not so chill so definitely look around to see exactly how your aquatic life is going to be getting on. Now, one of the cutest things that they actually added in this add-on was the addition of penguins. So before, essentially, this add-on was just a normal Minecraft world, we had many different animals in the add-on, but this time they've actually decided to add a lot of aquatic creatures. Hence the reason I actually decided to look at it. Now, you can see that really cool features have been added, such as the little baby penguins that actually do chase around these baby seals. And it just actually adds a very, very cool element of the game where you get these cool little interactions that make your Minecraft world that much more fun. Now what's cool about these penguins is that they also go down and actually swim underwater as you can all see. They frequently like to do this just to go and get some swim time which makes them one of the rare Minecraft mobs that actually can breathe underwater and breathe above water and they are definitely super super fast. Now these cute little penguins do need to be super careful because if they aren't careful they can be eaten by sharks and hippos which pretty much attack everything but they definitely are some of the cutest creatures added in the update and they are very very versatile with their animations as they swim around. Definitely make sure you check out some of the arctic biomes if you ever want to see these spawning in naturally because sometimes you'll just see them waddling around and other times you'll see them jumping down to go ahead and get some fish. What's actually also cool about this feature as well, or this mod, is that these penguins will actively hunt fish as if they're actually real penguins. Now, I say that because some mods in Minecraft actually just are aesthetic, meaning that they only stand there and they don't really do much. So if I spawn some salmon in, you can see that the penguins immediately dive down and hunt the salmon. It's actually a really neat feature and it just goes to show that these creatures are actively hunting. Now, what's also cool about this as well is that the, you can... Now, what's also cool about this as well is that you can actively hear the penguins eating the salmon as if they've just caught it and you can see bones floating to the top. 
co-op. Definitely a really immersive thing that they've added into the game because it just makes the game that much more immersive. So I would say in this mod, definitely go have fun with the penguins, spawn in a bunch of salmon and see exactly how quickly they can finish off the lot. Definitely something that makes this game 10 times more immersive rather than just a fish floating around. But nonetheless, pretty, pretty cool. And I honestly do think that Minecraft should just add penguins at this point because it's honestly getting ridiculous. One mod that doesn't get enough attention is the Lycanite's Minecraft mod. Now, it definitely isn't some kind of aquatic water update kind of mod, but just trust me when I say this has some of the scariest water creatures you're ever going to see, and definitely some of the most creative. So starting with the first creature right here, I should probably spawn them on land so you can actually see what they look like. So this is a weird kind of fish. Now, you might be wondering what kind of fish this is. They don't are. The reason for the creativity of this fish is because these fishes aren't essentially based on any actual mob. If I had to guess, I would say that these are based on some kind of piranhas, but just remember that the creator kind of made these simply using his own creativity. So these mods are actually really, really cool. Now you do have to remember that I'm also in creative mode, which means I can't show you exactly how crazy these mobs are when they're going to attack me. Another mob that we have here is the Skylus. It's essentially a very, very giant squid with a kind of like a hermit crab shape. It's, it's kind of hard to show you this creature in the water, but trust me when I say it's truly, truly dangerous. Sometimes you can see it flopping about. I just remember never to get too close to this creature because it will almost instantly kill you. Now this is one of my favorite creatures that are in the mod because it is a weird, weird creature which looks kind of like a human but it actually stands up in the water and actually does jump around it's a pretty weird and wacky creature if you ask me but trust me when i say these funny creatures are definitely very very interesting as you're about to see in a couple of minutes they randomly jump up to the surface to gain some air and then plop back down which is a really cool feature i'm guessing it's because these creatures actually evolved from humans so they need to come up every now and again to get some air definitely a very interesting kind of creature which brings me on to another creature which is the rower now these kinds of creatures actually do chill in packs and look like sharks but under understand that these creatures are definitely some of the highly aggressive ones, meaning that these ones you shouldn't actually get to at all. If you can, avoid these creatures at all costs because honestly, it will genuinely cost you your life. These creatures, as you can see, have razor sharp teeth and deadly accuracy. So under any circumstance, unless you're about to get a bit of loot, don't go anywhere near these creatures because with that menacing design honestly comes some menacing damage. So definitely get out of the way of those crazy creatures. Next, we have creatures called the Abia or also known as the Electric Eel. Now, these creatures are actually really cool because they're based from the electric eel and actually do generate a crazy electric current. It's definitely really cool to see this mob actually take some inspiration from real life. But once again, these mobs are some of the more dangerous ones. They don't really need to hunt in packs and are extremely dangerous if you get anywhere near them because their electric shocks can instantly kill you. So if you can, it's best to avoid these creatures while they're there because they are very uncanny, especially in the way that they move. Sometimes their head just stays there as the tail wags along and you're simply wondering when they're going to strike. Definitely one of the scarier Minecraft mobs, but trust me, it's truly, truly dangerous. And just goes to show, you never know what might be lurking underneath the depths in the Minecraft ocean. Now, this creature is by far my favorite creature at all because it is truly, truly terrifying. I honestly don't know what this creature is even based off of, but it truly does give me some scary, scary vibes. At first, I did think that it was some kind of giant squid, but then upon closer looking, I realized that this creature actually had many different characteristics, such as the little antlers that come out of its hand and its creepy little legs that it uses for walking. Well, I shouldn't say little because these things are absolutely huge. I'm not sure why they call this mob the Strike maybe because it strides through the water with great bounds but either way it's definitely the biggest minecraft mob that i've ever seen in this special mod and i'm pretty sure those two things that you see right there coming out of the creature as its tentacles are definitely used to attack its victim so definitely once again this is a mob that you should avoid at all costs now these creatures are more like some of the ones that you find in the deeper parts of the minecraft ocean essentially because you can't really find them in lakes and if you did they'd straight up die so if you want to find these creatures just make sure you go to the deepest parts of minecraft's worlds because you're not going to find them anywhere else and although they are a bit funny looking don't let that fool you these creatures absolutely will kill you so make sure you stay away from them because trust me i've been near them and they don't ever hesitate if they want to attack you so be careful for these crazy crazy creatures now these creatures are called iras and i'm pretty sure you've already seen creatures like this before they're probably not anything new to you essentially these creatures are based off the manta ray now the manta ray is a really cool water creature that is essentially just a manta ray and it's one of those creatures that is really really elegant and people really do love to look at it. Now, just because you like to look at the manta ray, understand that it is also pretty dangerous, as are most of these aquatic mobs. So don't think that just because they look cool, you're going to want to go near them, because trust me, you're not. They usually do spawn with a blue color, but every now and again, you'll get a rare one, which is actually green. It doesn't have any strange effects or any unique capabilities. It's just a really cool color. But nonetheless, it's definitely a really, really cool mod because these creatures are really elegant. They flow around and they can pretty much be anywhere in any Minecraft area. If you ever wanted to get a look at what these creatures look like without all the water in the way, well, this is kind of what they look like. I know it's not the best kind of version, but the only way to look 
at these creatures without all that crazy stuff in the way whilst they're still moving is to kind of just glitch in the wall and look at them like this, which is definitely not the best method. But honestly, Leo but honestly, Leonides mobs does have some of the most amazing mobs ever to be created because honestly, some of them are really, truly insanely created. All credit is due here because honestly, this mod isn't even about the manta ray. It's not even an aquatic mod at the, it's not even an aquatic mod. It just has so many dimensions to it that I decided to include it in this video. But you should definitely check out the mod because it does have a range of other cool creatures that I'm not going to spoil for you. Definitely a lot on the scarier side, but it's definitely something that you should check out. So this is probably the creature you're waiting for. This is the very insane sea serpent mob boss. This one is by far the most dangerous creature. Now, I have to be honest with you guys. This one isn't actually just on bedrock. It's actually on Java as well. And trust me when I say the Java edition version is 10 times better because the Java edition one has all these custom animations and stuff like that. And I'll leave a link in the description to show you how it works. But the sea serpent boss is by far one of the scariest bosses in Minecraft, especially with the way it actually moves, how it's meant to move if the mod is installed correctly. And trust me when I say it is definitely definitely one of the scariest aquatic bob mosses that I've ever seen and the creator honestly makes some really insane mods and this is honestly just one of them. There's literally tens and thousands of aquatic bob mosses that they've made that I'm also going to showcase that definitely truly make Minecraft a ton more scarier. So I would say if you're on Java and you're on Bedrock definitely check this out. I'll add some of the insane images on screen right now so you can see exactly how crazy this mod is especially if you have it on Java Edition. The reason it's so cool on Java Edition is because on Java Edition you can see that all of the light coming from the creatures is actually emissive meaning that the light actually emits another light so it lights the surrounding area. Definitely something that is worth the watch. And trust me, it's definitely one of the best mods out there. So definitely take a look at this boss mod because honestly, guys, there are some scary bosses in Minecraft that you've never seen before. So hopefully this video showed you just how many crazy different Minecraft mods there are out there. There are honestly so many different Minecraft mods, especially when it comes to water, and a lot of them are super dangerous and super interesting. Definitely make sure you give them all a try and let me know which ones are your favorite. If you're wondering how some YouTubers actually managed to get the bloop mod into Minecraft, then all you need to do is actually go ahead and download the bloop 3d model if you go to sketchfab and type in the bloop you'll see this 3d model and there's going to be a download button right here next be sure to download this mod called blockbuster essentially what this mod allows you to do is it allows you to import 3d models and many other things all you're going to want to do is import 3d models and as you can see here from the creator's channel it actually shows you exactly how to import these 3d models and how you could use them in your videos